Hello and welcome to Unscrewed TV, New Zealand's most passionate internet wine show. And today we're going to do, do a little experiment um, with regards voice recognition. And this has a huge, huge potential for the, the wine scene um, crowd for voice dictation, uh, tasting notes at wine shows, at, for judging, where you can collate all of that information. Also applications where you can just ask, whether it be Siri or someone, what the kind of wine you're looking for and it goes trawls through the database and pulls out the wine and shows you and you just push the button and it displays where you can buy it um, or can you can get a review of it so I mean massive massive implications for the for the wine world so we're going to do a little tasting of Manifero Chardonnay 2011 and it's called um, Chardonnay Musk and uh, Gisborne as everybody knows has really, really suffered since Pernod Ricard really pulled the rug from out of their feet, or under their feet, I should say. Um, they've they've struggled kind of with their identity. Kind of, they don't really know what they are. They've got Nick Nobolo down there who's making fantastic diverts. Everybody else is trying to kind of recreate, reinvent Gisborne as a wine region, tourist destination, and so um, I feel really, really sorry for them. I think that their, their future really does lie in Chardonnay, although they've got stiff competition from, as I tasted yesterday, from Central Otago, also from Hawke's Bay, obviously. Marlborough's making some fantastic Chardonnay, as is Whitebread. It seems that every region is now making Chardonnay. It was solely down to Gisborne that really put New Zealand Chardonnay on the map. Anyway, let's see how their future lies. But what we're going to also do is do the voice recognition of the tasting notes that I'm just about to do. So, here we go. You get a honeysuckle lemon lemon meringue pie, and then it goes into this kind of nuttiness at the at the back of the nose. But it is quite sweet. It smells really kind of opulent. That honeysuckle character continues to come through. It's a lot leaner than initially thought. I thought it was going to be quite a broad spectrum wine, quite flabby, but it's actually quite tight with a lot of chalky kind of a chalky aspect right at the end. Finish is quite dry and I've got to say it's a pretty good example. That's that's the voice recognition. So you can obviously only do it for a short amount of time before it starts translating. Here is what it actually said. Yep, you're at the honeysuckle lemon lemon moran pie with anagvan to this nastiness of that at the back of the nose. There is quite a sweet Dispose really an option that honeysuckle character continues to come through sort of leaner than initially thought. That was broad spectrum wine, quite bloody recessive, <laughs> quite tight, with a lot of talking, and a little aspect right at the end finishes quite dry. And so, as we can see, um, it does have massive uh, a massive future within the wine within the wine circle, but. I think we need a little bit of honing of our technology to get it right before before we make that transition from written word to voice. Anyway, I'll catch you next time, and very good wine.